if you want to remove a section from the middle of a video. Let's say you had a short coughing fit in the middle of your screencast and you want to go back and take that out. It's very easy and straightforward to do. So simply select the video, then you move the playhead to the point at which your coughing fit started and you hit the split button. So then we're going to move our playhead again to where we stopped coughing and we're going to hit split again. And that gives us three videos here. So I've got a six second video, a two second video where I was coughing and then the remainder of the 11 seconds to remove the part where I was coughing. All I need to do is click on the part that I edited here and click the trash can to delete that clip and it will be removed like it never happened. To add text, all you do is move the playhead to the part of your video where you would like the text to appear. Then come down to the Add button and choose Add Text. Here you type in the text that you want to add. Once you have your text, click the X in the top right hand corner and you will see the text appear on top of your screen here. There are a number of different styles you can have for your text. There are different fonts you can choose from. And there are different background types as well. You can also choose motion for your text to have it appear in different ways across the screen. The yellow bar in the middle here shows the duration of the text and how long it appears on the screen for. You can adjust the duration for how long the text appears by moving this back and forward. If you decide you would like your text to appear earlier, you can grab the middle of the text bar here and move that back a little bit or move it to the right in order to fine tune the appearance of your text. You can also move the text around the screen by repositioning it, by dragging and dropping it wherever you need it to go tilt, resize, so lots of good options where you are adding text and flexible ways in order to edit it. Once you are done, you click the go back button in the bottom left hand corner to return to your timeline. Adding music is very simple and straightforward. So you come down to the audio button here on the bottom of your timeline and you have a choice here of adding an audio file or a voiceover on top. So it says set the starting position for the sound and click the plus sign to add sound or music. So I'm going to move this back to the beginning of my video and then click the orange plus sign. Here you will see there are a number of built-in tracks inside of Animotica that you can use. You can press play to preview any of these or add them straight away. You can also upload your own audio file if you have copyright free music that you are able to use during your screencast. So I'll just choose this first one here and click add. And as you can see, it is added underneath the bottom of my track. If I want, I can click on the music track here and here you can see I can adjust the sound. So I want background music. I don't want to have the music drowning out my own narration. So I might want to take this down a little bit to 10 or 15%. I can choose a fade in and a fade out duration. I can also choose the speed of the music and play it a little faster or a little slower as required. So some different options on here. I can also trim the music if I wanted to. This piece is only 32 seconds. So if that was longer than I need, I could trim that on there too. And once I am done with all my music options, I can go back by clicking go back in the bottom left hand corner. When you are done and ready to save your video, share it with the world, or at least with your students, you click the Save Video button in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. 
that will ask you what video resolution you would like to choose for your project and you can adjust that back and forward here on the slider you can choose your video quality the higher the quality the larger the file size so maybe look for a happy medium somewhere on there too if you want to explore the advanced settings those are there if you know your way around those settings otherwise you can just click save here and your video will begin to render once everything is saved successfully, you will see a confirmation screen with a green check mark to say it is saved successfully. You will be able to watch a preview of your video. If you are wondering where your video was saved, you can click the show in folder button here. And what that will do is show you the path along the top that where your video is saved. If you would prefer to put it in a different place, you could maybe just drag it over to your desktop and leave it there. If you want, you can upload straight to YouTube from here. So clicking on this button here will prompt you to log in with your YouTube account and get that straight up into YouTube. Or if you need to share this to a different app to do more editing or tweaking, then this option is there too. Otherwise, your project is good to go and you are ready to share it with your students.